fly in, then they fly out. Gun. Chop, chop, chop it up, you know what we about. Whoosh, chop, chop, chop it up, you know what we about. Gun. Chop, chop, chop it up, you know what we about. You know what's going on. You logged into another episode of the Chop Shop Podcast here. Yeah? Mm. Large up my sponsors, Chef Walla, Sip Shack, Rolling Cones. Big up Sip Shack. Rolling Cones and all of them. Different things, settings. Ed- 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 yeah. Today, yeah. I got a special guest, yeah? The voice of the streets, Kenny Allstar. Oh my God. Joker, my bro. G. Yeah? You know we hold the vibes. Drink yeah, drink a juice. juice. Don't turn nothing to Don't worry, man. I, I ain't yeah. going to make you have to pass the drink over to me. like. it easy, man. We're yeah, it easy today. We're nice, man. We're nice. So you're saying, for those that don't know, mm. Kenny Allstar, the voice mm. of the streets, came to, came to check. The Birmingham voice of the yes. streets, you know what I mean? Yeah, yes. That's Bro, what's going on. I've been watching a lot of these episodes. That I, uh, the Stardom one was my favourite. Like, I just love how relaxed and natural it is to just come up here. Yeah, and man, it, that's the sentence I try to create. Bro, and you're creating it. And one thing I said I had to do, I, if I'm coming from, like, I didn't want to just come from, come do the show and not connect with people. Because nah, it's easy for a man to me. just come and just... <laughs> Come what they need to do here, but like, I wanted to connect with everyone and see where I'm going, man. So, cards was a, a little late notice. Mm, mm. I had to get my notes together quickly. And that cool. gonna you don't even need that. notes, man. Yeah, you I don't off need the notes. Dome, I man. look at structure, though. I need <laughs> a look at structure. Uh, fair play, me? fair play. Safe. So, boom. Yeah, a bit of a jack of all trades. Car, you're a rapper. <laughs> we still got bars in there. <laughs> my somewhere. word, fam. Yeah, boom. Yeah, it's early, you know, man. Up yeah, that. come on, that's the old school <laughs> thing, you get me? So I'm what's going on, man? Yeah, man, right now, bro, I'm just trying to find find myself, like, in the turn of this year, I'll be honest with you, bro, like, I felt so comfortable in my skin. Like, I knew, like, coming in the game, bare people had their thoughts on this Kenny All-Star thing. Because so a lot of men, I'm just shouting on tracks. <laughs> or, or I'm just trying to trying to be like DJ Khaled, yeah, yeah, like yeah. I'm like man are just looking at me like that. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah, before I used to, I used to look at somebody's comments and think, right? Do you not not know like some of the things that I've been through to just document talent around man? Mm. Like uh, it's easy for a man to say he's trying to be like him or he's trying to be like that, but like really and truly, I just had to reflect and think, yo, I used to go on a bus for to every area in South London when things were popping. Mm, like, right, right. like on a bus, like, <laughs> by myself, one man up, mm, to mm. every hood. Like, to the point where man used to bunk college and school to document man from my area. And I wasn't getting paid, I wasn't doing none of that. So when I sometimes see comments on and people saying, yeah, this guy thinks he's that, this guy, yeah, whatever... I, I just like you feel, it, at the start, it kind of yeah, pissed you off. It w- I was pissed off. I was like, nah, but hold on, you don't know like what man had to go through to do this. And on top of that, how many doors got shut in my face, and how many people told me, yeah, well, you know what, this this rap thing, like, it's not like we're in America, so you can't really be doing them things. Like, bear man had opinions for days, but when I say n- in the new year, I went over to Jamaica, mm. yeah, and like, no word of a lie. I was just analysing the way people move out there and different hunger and a different hustle. And then I came back and I was like, I was so comfortable in my skin. I'm like, bro, like, I'm self-proclaimed. I self-proclaim myself like this title because when I'm in the mainstream world, I represent for a sound and a group of people that would get shut down any other day. Yeah. yeah so yeah. that's why like, right now I'm just confident. I'm, I'm Ways to the streets, that's you. Bro, I have to hold, hold yeah. it, man. And yeah. and at the end of the day, and I won't always get it right because I know people will watch this and think, yeah, well, he's the voice of the streets in certain places. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, he, yeah. he knows to find talent in Manny and Birmingham and London, but he don't really... Don't come over here and check for So man, is man. he really? Yeah. Bro, I'm a human being. I will yeah. never act like, like... Remember, I'm self-proclaimed. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. it's not that I think I'm just the guy for every hood or every... Like, you get me, rapper in the UK, bro. I'm, I'm a realist, man. But at the end of the day, I'm trying, fam. You so, get what yeah. I'm saying? So I see you said DJ Khaled. Is that one of your mm. inspirations? Yeah, I've got, I got a few, man. Um, Funk Flex, mm. who does um, a rap show over Hot 97 in New York. I'll be honest with you, man. I used to buy all the, all the old bootleg tapes of, like, DJ Drama and Gangster Grills. 
like I I I come up with them voices, DJ Clue. I used to find a way of fucking logging into streams, US mm, streams, mm, like mm, on mm, some mm. VPN thing to try listen to radio over in the states. Yeah, so I was, yeah, yeah. So I was influenced by a lot of those kind of DJs, but also hosts, mixtape hosts over here, um, Michael Million, big bad man. Yo, Bruv. we're going to have to have a sit for that one. Yeah, no, Definitely. 100%. Michael Millions a real yeah, yeah. G. Like, I remember listening to him and just thinking, yo, I like the way man's just... Yo, he gasses up. End he's like, gassing it up properly. Just, if you ain't got to pull up for Michael Million, I don't Bro, know what's going on. Michael Million, legend, OG, DJ yeah. Big Ride as well. Yeah. Live Wire, Limelight's old mixtapes. Like, I come up off those names mm, you get what I'm saying mm, 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 and like I'm a mixtape head man I used to try I boot <laughs> fam I was the bootleg on my ends man anytime I could get the tape and record the fucking on top FM DJ sets or whatever I'll be doing it all and, and, and trying to learn from that so yeah, yeah okay, you've been doing it all yeah, even the video in the, feel, the, the same mix up where you're just touching on there yeah man so you're filming yeah like what hood to hood, you know that hood to hood DVD in America. You ever watch that? Um, no, I'm not sure. Well, anyway, they go to different hood. areas. Yeah. And everybody's chatting shit. Where, 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 where? Is that the kind of kind of thing you was doing? Yeah, similar, similar to that. Cause I there was a DVD that me and my bedrooms used to watch bare called Streets Incarcerated, mm. and I think that's what opened my eyes to the change between DVDs to YouTube. Like I was always a forward thinker, yeah. so. I remember the the mainstream YouTube platform was SBTV. Yeah. But obviously there was lots of like streets influenced DVDs, even channels, UK mm-hmm. Overstood, mm-hmm. Rap City. And I was watching Streets Incarcerated and I, I just loved the way they would go to like every area and it weren't one of those mad, like it's like this. Mm-hmm. It's like man are just talking. Reasoning, reasoning. Uh, yeah, man are, a man of reasoning about music. You know what I mean? But, you know, these are real street guys, like, talking about what's going on, where they're coming from. Um, I was always influenced by, like, that, and I wanted to have my own version of that. So I set up something called Ken's TV, mm. and then... This I, is early, isn't it? This early, is early, bruv. This ain't Kenny early. All-Star day. This ain't even... Ken, like, do you know what is? I, I was still Kenny oh, All-Star. As a DJ. Always been Kenny All-Star. Always been Kenny right, All-Star. Please. Like, as a DJ, man, we used to do house parties and whatever, so I was doing that, but, yeah... Um, there was, I think there was a girl that I was chatting to at the time that was, um, that showed me about a rapper in Peckham mm. called Cash. And then, um, Cash tested back in them days. So oh, he was that's, like, that's what I was going to get to you, yeah. relationship with Cash, you know, all right, so he before. was like the first guy that I filmed on, on that channel. Okay. Yeah. Like I actually filmed guys from my area in yeah. Deptford, but again, like we were all just new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like coming, so no one was really checking like that. Okay. But over in Nam, there were so many different sections of Nam, and everyone was popping in their own way. So I remember, I, like, he jumped on first, and then I got a call from someone over in Bricky. They were like, "Yeah, man, Angel Angel Town's popping right now, man. You got to come over here." So I was <laughs> going to town. So imagine that you're going from Peckham yeah. to town, doing that. Safe. But Basically, that's like going from Aston to Hansworth. It's a bit mad. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That like that trip, and man was young doing yeah, them yeah, trips. Yeah, you yeah. get what I'm saying? Safe, 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 but safe. man, yeah. So then I linked up with Sneakball, Sneaky. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And yeah. then those were like two kind of big rappers coming up. And then I think those were the early days of me knowing that yo, I love this shit, fam. Like you know, mm, certain mm, people mm, like mm, I'm, mm. all the time. The man used to ask me like, yo, like bro. Yeah, you're from Lucian and that, and you're just going one man up, like, mm. like with your bait face and that. Don't, don't you? But that gets the respect, though. You come in one up, you come in to do your thing. Yeah, that's how it goes. Bro, at the end of the day, the way I see it is, I respect everyone's graft in this thing. People have their problems, you know, mm. and that just comes with the territory that we're from. But see when 
Like I do something, I like it to be like a safe haven for anyone yeah. to come and connect with me, because I'm not gonna be talking people's businesses. We we, we, we focus on Basically. how to develop you as an artist and as a as a man. You get me? I so yeah, man. So say so if that's part of the come up there, then yeah, so like you said, he was always DJing. Mm. I seen the documentary where you um, was undercutting DJs. Yeah, fifty pound a set straight up. There. Savage business, man. That's you how you get <laughs> in the DJ streets. Bro, I t- this uh, DJs here, the older DJs used to hate me, bro. Because I would, if you had a house party tonight, mm. bruv, all I would tell you to do is make sure the equipment's there. If, the, w- if that DJ is charging you a bill, I'll do it for £50. <laughs> bruv, I don't care. And then that's when, when I started doing that, and then people kind of realised that he's actually not shit. <laughs> you yeah, know, because yeah, yeah. that, because... Charging fifty pounds is one thing, but you could just come yeah, and, just just come and collapse the set, mm. and everyone's gone. You get what I'm saying? It's fucking up house parties and uni raves. Up. Yeah, man. Even before the uni raves, I okay. used to play at, at Dreams Nightclub in Harlesden. Mm. It's a legendary nightclub, okay. bruv. First set I done there, humbled me. You get me? I went in there, and the thing is, it's a bashment type club, mm. and there was bet like man from the area, like proper it was like a proper yard dance i know like up in yeah, Brom, yeah, yeah, we love you it. lot have been to your yeah, fair yeah, share yeah, yeah, you know yeah, yeah. how it is it's like you got the gallon in the middle doing their thing yeah. the man and the outskirts video light, and all video of light everything yeah, yeah. blood i went on yeah I, these are the times where i couldn't really find my my lane in the club because mm. i was playing dance or music but you know like when you're going after big sound systems they got a mad host yeah, yeah, and yeah, they're juggling yeah, yeah, it's crazy yeah, yeah. you have to have to chat some you got a chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, this is when I didn't really find my voice. So I've gone <laughs> and I've tried to do a, a, a dance hall set. I think it was like a 90s dance hall set. And I thought I was going in. Mm-hmm. Man were looking at me crazy. <laughs> Bruv. And then I think I got booed. I, heard, I think one of the girls were trying to boo man off the set. Then I was like, raw, like... And I kept on going, like, head down. <laughs> DJ is watching this, no, like, you got to keep it moving. Bro, that night, yeah, I swear down, I collapsed the rave. <laughs> like, everyone <laughs> were like, yo, this, the, whatever. Then I think one of the DJs came up to me and was like, what? Like, where you from? Like, I said, I'm uh, uh, London, innit? <laughs> <laughs> like, is that, no, no, it's like, like, what country are you from? <laughs> like, I'm Nigerian, I'm Nigerian, innit? <laughs> but you know what, that's bad, yeah? I played bare bashment. That's, what, that's yeah. what I was doing in the clubs, in like, in the parties. But it was different level when you're amongst men that can talk about a record, like mm. tell a story mm. and then drop the record. Then I was like, you know what? That's that same night when I got that when I got booed, I went home and all I was doing was watching mad sound systems, like yeah. Kilimanjaro yeah, yeah, sound, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mighty Crown, mm. like Rodigan, like yeah, bro, yeah, I was yeah. studying, studying, fam, studying. I was understanding like there's an art to this, yeah. Mm. And what made man different is that nightclub is full of Jamaican sound systems like, and DJs. So when I went there, the, I think a month later, I rang the, the, the owner of the club. I said, let me come there. Mm. Trust me, I got this now. Got this now. And I think what made it sick is everyone came with their, get me, their lingo, patois, mm. all of that. You got packed with them? I didn't do that, that's but that's what made it different. Yeah, that's what it makes and that's it. what gave me my break. Cause <laughs> in the club world, cause they're like, raw. I'm telling a story about like I might I might tell a mad story about yo. I pulled up outside the club, and 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 you know what happened when I hopped out? Oh na na okay, na, and everyone's okay, going mad. Yeah, 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 but yeah. I'm speaking like this. Okay, okay, and dropping yeah, yeah, it like yeah, the way yeah. they were doing it. So yeah. that's what gave me like my kind of breaking in the club system. And then, obviously, as I got older and I was going uni, I had to to try and infiltrate that scene because that's very important. Like, uh, bear rappers will tell you, if your tune is popping in a uni dance, you're pretty much en route to something special. you hear that? Yeah, man. So, and then, yeah, that's what brings me into the the club. Into the uni world. Yeah, man. And and, and, um, so that was your training. Yeah, Send that training into the uni setter. Yeah, started broken up the uni setter, mm. and then um, what? SoundCloud was popping them times. SoundCloud, man, the mixes yeah. they they went a long way, man. All them dancehall mixes I used to do, like it was mad, fam. Like uh, crazy half numbers, half a million, two hundred thousand per mix. Like it was getting 
silly. And when I was doing, it's mad because all my worlds interchange. When I was doing all of that, I was also on radio. So I had a show on Represent, mm. Represent Radio. It, it, it's a station, community station in London. And um, I was doing radio shows, but I was taking what I was doing in the uni world and mix it, mixing it in with rap. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It was different. It was called Dance All Nation. And the whole concept was bringing through rappers that rap on rap beats, but putting them on a the dancehall rhythm. Okay. So I had um. Cash must have been somewhere floating. Cash when he went there, man. Oh it man. was it was. Uh, you know what? Ironically, one of the first guys I bought into that setup was Stormzy. Okay. So I had Stormzy on a rhythm called the Showcase rhythm, and I think that's produced by the Genius, and he was just spitting over it. Like and it was on Mad Thing. It's on YouTube. You can see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That's the first rhythm. That was like the first UK rapper that was coming. Then I had Ratlin coming the yeah, following yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then Naira Marley. Okay, yeah. And then Jay Huss. So this is like this is all early days. As early well. days. Early days. So week the after week, I would okay. be bringing through a new name to just jump on. You know, a dance yeah. will be. It was just different, innit? So then, from you bust up SoundCloud and bust up the Unirave, mm. you're still on radio. Yeah. And then, what's how, how how do you get it popping even more? Like, yeah, do you know what? I think for me, I knew the power was always in the people. Mm. So, even how I kind of developed a name in this game, it was more for understanding what I wanted to do, mm. but also catering for the people because the reality is I can do all these mixes I can go to the club every week but if the people ain't fucking with it the people, yeah. then I'm done yeah, yeah, you get yeah. what I'm saying so I was at a place when I was coming out of the uni sector and trying to get into radio I knew I wanted to be on radio from early bro like I was bro I was a narcissist when it came to radio fam like I had to record on the, on the TDK tape pack every radio show that was popping he was your radio host, so you like he was you did your rate like who well did you back in to? yeah we're like coming up I listened to a lot of Westwood on Radio One mm-hmm. yeah and then there was like a Saturday night schedule where it was like Westwood going into Chris Goldfinger yeah, he's yeah, a yeah. dancehall DJ so imagine hearing the maddest craziest hip hop fam yeah. like American shit and then going into some dancehall that's that's, that's my kind of <laughs> my kind of Saturday night yeah, 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 yeah it's my kind of setup. So I was listening to that, but I was listening to everything, fam. I would be up in the morning listening to Pete Tong, like, mm. like crazy Judge crazy Jules, wide, yeah. like you know what? It's just that whole that that whole concept of like not having to watch someone, but listening and connecting through music and words. That's crazy to me. You get what I'm saying? So I was fucking with that heavy man, and then a lot of pirate radio on top FM, like mm. heavy man, like recording all the kind of. Mad Grime sets, DJ Big Mikey, NAA. Like, bro, I, I went back with it, man. Like, I was always into that. But in terms of, like, trying to find my place, like I said earlier, it's all about putting the power on the people but also staying true to myself. So how Mad About Bars came about, yeah, for yeah, example. Yeah, yeah. I was going to get into Because that, that's what yeah, made yeah. man, yeah. like, big in the UK. I had a radio show popping off. Mm. And I was coming out of dancehall, same radio station I represent, coming out of dancehall, but exploring the rap world because that's always been my passion mm-hmm. from when I used to film. And rap. Yeah, and rap. Uh, yeah. Do you leave that bit out all the time? What, what, what the rap rapping thing? Rap bro, because you know what? I, I, me, I know that I went. Bro, great. I get drunk. The man in Mataya, I get drunk here yeah. Yeah. sometimes. And the man, I just. Spit nah, bro, in. give me the mic, bro. Let me get no, in there. Bro, bro let me show you something. My thing. You see me? As, uh, this is why I don't bring this shit up because sometimes you need to know <laughs> when to stop it's true like there, there will become a time where all of you you can be in the block with 10 of your bedrooms spitting and you can think you're hard but you know what the reality is you're probably not hard like if you're not the guy that gets called <laughs> to the studio to jump on a rhythm that you think is going to be a, a, a mad thing mm, 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 then that means you're not built for it I knew, knew when to stop. Like Some people obvi- don't know when to stop. That's what I'm saying. Some people don't, but I knew. So that's why I don't bring it up. Okay. Like I've had my 15 seconds of fame in my youth club back in Deptford when I was a kid. 
but I stopped. Done. And now look, look where yeah, I am yeah, now. Yeah, so yeah. imagine if I didn't stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you, I probably wouldn't be it's worthy it's enough it's to be in this room chatting to you. You get what I'm saying? It's cheap, it's cheap. So, so you hit the, uh, the man about bro. Yeah, so it started off Represent Radio, yeah? yeah? Every every Friday night, I think, or Saturday night, whenever, 9 to 11, yeah? And then I was, again, this is something I want people to take. I was self-conscious, bruv. Mm. See, this YouTube thing, yeah? Mm. Like, me, I, I was the kid that looked at numbers. numbers, so, numbers so, so the way I saw it is I couldn't put nothing on my channel. Because mm. I didn't think, like, yo, starting a new channel, see one subscriber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if that, you know, <laughs> you don't know where your, ne- where your next subscriber's coming yeah, from. Yeah, yeah. Bruv, I knew, like, I could do this content thing because I was putting up all the, the sets and freestyles on my SoundCloud mm. and it was doing well. <laughs> but I just wasn't confident enough to build something from the bottom. So um, I was fucking with... Mixtape Madness at the time because yeah. I was doing like some interviews for them and I was also writing. I yeah. used to write reviews on mixtapes. Yeah, so if the new, let's say, Fecky mixtape drops or yeah. new Bags and Boxes or whatever drops, yeah. like Blade yeah. Brown, whatever, yeah. I'll just be doing a write-up and I used to send it to them because mm-hmm. I just used to love writing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I think there was a time where I was like, you know, I was doing a lot of content, doing the free, st- doing, not the freestyles, but doing the interviews and doing the writing. Favour for favour. Interviews, them times, anyway, he's doing DJ. Bro, everything, man. Bro, a lot of this story right now is just going to overlap, man. But yeah, yeah. yeah, um, so I called Favour for Favour. I was Mm. writing for you you lot and doing the interview. So let me try a thing. Because if, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's that's, uh, exactly what it was. One of my um, people was at Mixtape Madness. Um, I called them, I was like, yo, I know it's short notice, but I got radio on Friday and I want to start filming some of these moments because, mm-hmm. like, look how much moments that I had but move. didn't document, so get me. And then they showed love right from the jump, of course, and they brought down TZ. Mm. Um, TZ, who is the visual producer behind all the MABs, even from when it was on radio. Yeah. So I think the first guy I brought on was AJ Tracy mm. and I was just mixing bare beats. That was, I think that was episode one. Yeah, I think, I got it written <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it's AJ one. Tracy. Yeah. And then it was going off, like, mm, people were mm, fucking, mm. like, people hitting up the radio, saying, like, yeah, that, we like this oh, yeah, Kenny yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. So that's how it, because I was going to ask, so that's how it started on the radio. You it started watch on, it, s- yeah. And then you took, because it was going mad, you took that. Yeah, after four episodes, <laughs> or after four of those, I think mm. we had the following week, Big Tobes and Blitz. And then the following week, Miss Banks, and the following week was Baseman. It got to a point where, yo, these are, I'm doing this every week, yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. this is like a thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, and um, we just said fuck it, bro. For like, let's try go to a proper film studio mm. and let's see where we can take this. Mm. And then we, we were just hitting up different guy, like guys because what people need to understand, Mad About Bars kind of started with me being selfish. Mm. Like, I'm the type of guy that, obviously, we all have playlists. We filter yeah, what we yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to have a platform where I <laughs> could listen to all my favourite <laughs> rappers at the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And then I was just, it was a selfish thing, fam. Like, mm. I had no intention for it to be this mad thing. And I don't think even MM, like, was thinking that. They just, you know, there was a connection there, innit? And then I think one time, like, they, one one of the men from MM said like yo like just stop being selfish like you should like because there's actually loads of guys and, and there's only one of me so yeah, I'm not yeah, gonna yeah. be able to see everyone okay. so then they open my eyes to like yo like if I fuck with it musically then let's just do it and again I came up off Michael Million Big Red mm. so did you think I was gonna have that platform and not talk my yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get yeah. what I'm saying? You find your voice now, you know what you're doing. And no, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. my voice is here now. Yeah, so yeah. I was going, we were, we were just going in and we, when we were doing it, the early seasons, we would just be spending the whole day at the studio. Mm. We would go in from 10 in the morning and not leave till midnight, 1 a.m. Yeah. Like just like every couple hours, we were just bringing fr- guys people. through to the studio yeah. and, and we were just doing everything at once. I was voicing... Mm. and then there was one take like sometimes yeah. I would go and do an intro yeah. then a rapper would come and try and lace it one take 
and I'd get the outro straight away oh, in the same okay. booth. Like, okay. you would do it, like there was mad dynamics going mad on early on days, and and when some of the the bigger episodes started going viral, that's when it, it was like we never looked back, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know, there's been so much sick moments on the early days, like getting Shoki on there. Mm. Like developing that new Yo, young. Sorry, rest in peace, Shorty. Rest in peace, you know, so have to sip the drink, bro. Yeah, hundred and twenty percent, man. Mm-hmm. And there was a lot of moments that kind of defined, I think, what especially UK drill is mm. now amongst the younger listeners. And you know, we had some sick moments, man. Getting Miz on Mac in there um, with Bis. Again, you to, yeah, we're not you know gonna I mean? get too drunk, but dig them up, same way. One hundred and twenty percent, you know, the, the abracadabra moment went off. M Honcho, Skengdo AM. There were so so many moments that kind of like made that kind of one of the most authentic mm. platforms. Definitely, get what I'm saying? Yeah, so. definitely, definitely. <laughs> <coughs> safe. So coming off mixtape madness, yeah. What's yeah. been um one of the st- one of the standout freestyles on that platform for you? Uh, there was there's been so, so many, many man, like <laughs> there's been so many moments. Uh bro. Again, you know the Shoki mo- moment was important mm-hmm. for the young new sound of drill. Um M Honcho. Okay. So important because what I think he done on the platform was bring through a new sound, mm-hmm. like a sound that made a lot of other young artists want to come on the platform on that wave. Mm-hmm. And that was sick because we were, we had a lot of drill, we were drill heavy. So when you had his stuff, yeah. it was refreshing. Yeah, yeah. different. Man. You know what I mean? And, and it was receptive. Like, bro, I played that in the club. That's mad. That and the Skengdo and AM mm. one. Like, they go off in a club. And as a DJ, again, you know, like, this is, like... So you know where you're picking, man, for freestyle? Or, yeah. Like, what's, what's the what's the, pro, what's the process? Yeah, so everyone, everyone asks this question. Yeah, like... Do you know what? The way MAB always worked was, a, like, a radar system mm. in terms of between me and Mixtape Madness, and there's so many people that work in Mixtape Madness that are on the pulse and also know the sound that I fuck with mm-hmm. and they also like love music as much as I do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So between literally just us looking around like we f- we found artists in many different ways. There's been times where I might have just seen on my explore page mm. someone in his car That's just going off. Yeah. And it's so mad, like, I'm thinking, what yo. What about if a man sends you something and you yeah. really, it's not that, how have you had to... Do you know what? Have you had to turn a man It down depends your or your approach. You've seen them... No, I'll, I'll keep it real. It depends on your approach. Like, there's times where I go into a club and I'm just chilling and someone's come up to me, but on a proper, like, passionate wave, like, yo, let me spit this for you. Or, like, yo, like, I know you're like you're holding a vibe right now, but trust me, I'm the hardest. <laughs> like yeah. you're gonna know about me in three three years tops. Mm. Like when a man come and that, I take them in a bit more, only because I remember being that DJ mm. that would go to the radio stations and say, "Fam, five years, I'm gonna have that Friday night show." Ain't no one telling me nothing. So how can I not rate a man like that? But the issue is. I'm a one human being. And this is why I'm happy that I'm chatting to you about this chopper. You see, sometimes when rappers see me, they honestly feel like there's like 80 of me. Like, I'm not going to see everything. Like, I'm a proper not going to, like, do you know what I mean? There's times where people might think that I'm kind of parring or I'm not, not like, bro, think about it. Like, man's got 52 weeks in a year, cuz. If I'm putting out a freestyle every single week on multiple platforms, bro, I'm trying, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not like it's just Mad About Bars, it's Voice of the Streets. and the, like There's sometimes where if, if an artist is coming up and they're still trying to find, and they're still trying to hone their craft, mm. like there's other platforms that next up. Me, I'm the that type of person that will recommend every platform. Okay. Not even just one, like 
that's connected to man. Because at the end of the day, I can't do this by myself. So when man are all getting offended, thinking, yo, he's not listening to my shit, it's not because... It's bro, not that it's just if I show you my emails right yeah, now, I can Chopper, imagine, yeah, no, like, it goes, Carl... I, I can't lie, I'm you know. I'm not even a music man, and if I show you the DMs, man want me to look at the thing. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? You get me? Like, if, if it don't hit, then you know it, it didn't yeah, hit. But like you said, if they're on the radar, if you're on the radar, man's watching, innit? The man will say, yo, chop, check yeah. my man out, or rate it, rate it. Yeah. That's how it goes. I don't really... If a man sends you his thing, it's a bit... Yeah. You get me? But again, like, I, I try... It, like, if I can't... If not everyone can get a free star... I'm on the radio every week. Mm, I mm. play new tunes. Like mm. I play guys. There's, there's been times where I've bought man single and played it on the radio, and they've asked me how did I get that tune. Mm. Like you get what I'm saying. Yeah. I do this every week. Like if if I show you my bank statements, bro, mm, mm. that go that goes out to iTunes, bro, because <laughs> I'm buying shit and I'm also checking my emails and like. But it's got to be organic. I got to connect with it. I got to like it. I got to enjoy it. That's why I talk my shit differently to mm, other people. Mm, mm, like mm, when mm. I like everyone that I bring on on my platform, people say, "Oh, Kenny's he's overdoing it. He's over." But if you're on man's thing, I proper rate mm, you that mm, much. Mm, so if yeah. I'm gassed, chatting yeah, shit, yeah, that's because like, you rate it. I rate it. Like, you yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so they're moving after mixtape madness and well, moving forward after. Yeah. What was the pattern then? Isn't it? So when did uh, wait there that the album as well? I need yeah, to mention yeah, the, the album, album Black Diaries. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. The the album that came out 2018, mm. and again, like man's coming. I come off. I come up off of Khalid and mm, mm, yeah, mm, I mean mm, drama. Mm. These man drop projects. Every like two months on their come up, like I felt like that was missing. Like man, just dropping compilations like of just their favorite rappers on on the thing, just going off. Mm. Like I wanted to do that. So with Block Diaries, I got myself in a position where I could just put tracks together from guys that I'm fucking with. Again, it's a selfish and thing. And you got the beats as well. If it, you pick yeah, them Yeah, so I'll, I'll link up with the producer. Mm. There's so many producers that are absolutely killing it out here. So I'd be like, yo, I think my man will sound sick on your beat. Mm. Come in. Let's have a session. Yeah, 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 Me, yeah. you and the artist. This vibe. Yeah. I'm just the person that's... Like, the way I am, like, right now is the yeah, way yeah, I yeah. am in the studio. <laughs> they see me I'm coming like, yo, man, them, everyone yeah, yeah, good? Yeah, yeah. yeah? Yo, me... Yeah, my man, yeah, yeah. my man, me, yo, like, and then just you, you guys will sound good together. Mm. And then I'll just be the guy, like, in the, in the corner of the studio, just yeah, analyzing. Sure, you know, you've made this, you made the link. Yeah. You're just kicking back. And I'm just, yeah, I'm, I'm more time in the studio kicking back. And if I think something's missing in the production, like, yo, this 808 can slap a bit harder. Like, mm. yo, I need it to sound like that. Okay, I need that yeah, break yeah, in the yeah, beat. Yeah, cause yeah, yeah. Yeah, me, I that's know. The man ain't going as hard as you think he could, or yeah, bro. There's been enough times. Anyone that's been on any, any of my projects will tell you, like, mm. like there's been times when I've had to tell man, yo, <laughs> was that really like the hardest? Like you could have, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm. At the end of the day, we're all here. Like there's a different energy in the room. Just go off. Mm. Like I'm not restricting you. It's not like we're on radio and man can't swear and say whatever the, you get what I'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. more time I'll be like yo let's re-record that we can go harder even in my intros man yeah, yeah like yeah, I'm yeah, like yeah, there's no, been no, enough no. times where I'm like okay cool yeah but am I really gassed about this mm. so then mm. we're gonna have to do it all over again but True. but there's been some moments like that even the, the heady one track suit love track again that was organic you get mm. me man's just in the studio and man are just looking at each other's attire and man, man are all wearing tracksuits in the booth, everybody, down to the engineer, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, everyone's yeah, just like... That happened, and yeah. Yeah, like, and then we had this, like, beat from Nostalgia, and it was like a loop. Doom, 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 doom. Like, it was mad, but it was just a loop. It was just that loop. I was like, blood. Nostalgia came in, and then he just... Bro, we started add, adding different instruments to the loop, and it was just hitting. Mm. And then I was just hearing Heady, like, yeah. In my track suit. Yeah. You know, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, like, what's that? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. all t- Yo, turn that down. Let me hear What are you saying about your tracky over there? I'm <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And then man, I'm just vibing. And, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and then, that, you know, that's how that comes about. And then there's tracks where I just want people to just go off no hook. Mm. You know, just authentic, man. Like old school days, like old school freestyles. I mean, I'm a freestyle man. So when I put those tracks together, like that body of work meant a lot to me at the time. Because mm. again, um... There wasn't a DJ 
in, in my era that was kind of doing that. You know what I mean? You're doing it, yeah? Yeah. So then I wanted to kind of make it a thing. And now there's like, bro, after, after all those collaborations, it just things got even madder for me. Mm. But you know what? I've realised that I'm not just going to... Every tune that I put out is going to mean something. You mm. know what I'm saying? Like even the track that I dropped with Dig That recently, yeah, like yeah. not too long ago, Friday. That tune uh, is he's from my area. Okay. So it's like... You know, you know, we're, like we're all like we're growing up, yeah, 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 and we're from the same, you know, what I'm saying. So, there's there's moments like that, but yeah, yeah man, you know, the man there from before, um, they started working yeah. in that anyway, mm. okay, yeah, man, like with you see my area, you see me, yeah, I'm mad patriotic to my area, especially mm. like not that I'm biased, yeah, but man. I'm biased in yeah, a way, yeah, like yeah. you know what I mean, like in Lewisham, where I'm from, it's almost six talent coming out of yeah. it man that you know people like d-block europe you get what i'm saying like that's that whole wave like digs you know rush like yeah. there's there's loads of people from like that area doing their thing and, and, it, and it's just it's good to see man come on man so um the radio thing now yeah you got on the radio mm. big things how did that how did, me, how did that make you feel because you always wanted to get on there because Bro, I'll be honest with you. There was a time, yeah. You need to have a drink for that again. Yeah, man. no. So Word, come, come on, man. Like, that's come I on, swear. man. You get me? Hey, come chopper. on, yo, fam. You if know what's going on? Yeah. Exactly. You look blood. <laughs> like, man, don't understand, yeah. People, uh, anyone watching this, please listen to me when I'm telling you this, fam. Man used to bunk school to go over to the radio, yeah, to try and wait for a radio manager. To come out so I can give the man's mixtape. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm a I'm I'm that's a really you right. like that's really what bro. You, trust me, fam, yeah. man wasn't even good. Forget that. Like, let me be real. Man was shit. Like them days at radio, man. I could I was stuttering all over the place. I just I, I brother, I was trying to find myself. Fam. Mm. But you know why this show meant so much to me, bro? Because I knew. What I what the music that man's doing, mm. like the the public probably like wouldn't want that me to put that on. Mm. You get what I'm saying? That mm. like, there's been enough times there where behind the scenes a man has told me, "Yo, this isn't gonna work. Mm. You can't make it onto a platform like the BBC playing street music. Mm. Like it just you know what I mean? Like it's just fam." They'll laugh you out the door. Like, it's not going to happen. And then as the years ticked, I was realising, like, yo, we're hot on the streets, yeah, bro. We got cool. Mad About Bars popping off. Like, loads of things is going on. Like, I'm actually working hard. But then I'm thinking, yo, like, are they not seeing what we're doing over here? Like, we're break, like we're, we're doing mad things. Like, mm, mm, mm. no one's, like, giving man the looking. So when, when they phoned me and said, like, yo, I want you to hold that Friday night Sure. <laughs> Did you feel any type of way f- due to the circumstances, mm. like how uh, how how man left or how it got presented to you or anything like? Do you know what I know? The reality is, like, if Semtex didn't leave, I wouldn't have yeah. that show. I know the reality. I know that is the reality. Mm-hmm. Like, at the end of the day, bruv, that don't mean I won't take an opportunity mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. show Definitely. people that. Yo, this is not a fluke. You get what I'm saying? Like, I can bring through hungry rappers, like, guys who, who risked it all for this music thing mm. just to, like, make it out of the trenches. When you see that hunger on that platform, you begin to understand, oh, I, I get why Kenny's trying to mm-hmm. do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because now, if you've come onto that platform, staying true to your words... And you bust, or or let's say people like now from the labels or whatever are starting to take you serious, and now you're starting to get money mm-hmm. just off the back of being on just a little platform like that. I've won. Like mm-hmm. that's okay, all I'm. Man. That's all I'm trying to do. That's why if you look at the rappers that tend to come on the radio show, it's not necessarily. I'm not going for the biggest rapper. Like I'm mm-hmm. not going for mm-hmm. someone who's whatever. Because I'm not trying to 
do what was done before certain criteria yeah. you're looking for like the hungry yeah the hungry like, like, you know what I mean yeah, 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 someone yeah. who's willing to say alright you know what I'm gonna memorise this freestyle yeah. I'm not gonna use my yeah. phone yeah, yeah, like yeah. that kind of like you know what I mean Yeah, like even if they're like stumbling that like, yo mm. man's respecting that yo this is a platform here that, that we take serious so when I got that show at first I was like blood yeah man like I was gassed. I was gassed, bro. Like, because at the end of the day, like, how many men from where I'm from can say that they got mm. on there? Like, only a few people. And did. from where you're coming from, though, fucking handing out mixed yeah. names in front of me. Obviously, come on. Like, that's hard shit, bro. Definitely, because. And now we're on there and we're doing numbers. You get what I'm saying? And like, I'm proud of what of what, like, not even just me, but just everybody around me, like, yo, bro, I see support. You see when, like, even, like, the like the DJs left on mm. a One Extra, bro, I had bare people, like, hitting them and hitting me up, saying, like, yo, it's Kenny, like, like you know what I mean? He loves mm. this, you know what I mean? Ken, yeah, that's, a, yeah, yeah, I like, remember that it's Kenny. I'm bro, sure, even, yeah, from, yeah, there I, was a mad tweet, yeah, that Nines, Nines tweeted um something sick, like, he was like, bro, um, I think this was after Charlie. Charlie left there. Yeah. And Sweet is like, yo, my guy Kenny's got to be the one. That, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And like, that, that, like, that's sick. Yeah, so that's, 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 like, sign. that's everybody mm. like, coming together. So I probably wouldn't have even got that. Mm. Like, even though man had to leave, but I probably still wouldn't have got that if it weren't for people. You get what I'm saying? So what then? What do you think about the scene then, innit? Outside of, outside of London. Jeez, yeah, like, bro. Yeah. This is what I really want to chat to you, you about. You get me? Bro. Let's get into I'll that I'll be honest one. with you. Because let me show you something. I said this last year. 2020 onwards isn't going to... Like, London are not holding the hub of mm-hmm. UK rap mm-hmm. no more. It's not happening. Like, bro, the talent that's coming up, like, out of London is crazy, bro. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's mm-hmm. silly. Like... Again, I know I'm going to sound typical, but le- I'll pay attention to Birmingham and Manny, mm. yeah, especially. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, like, they're the two biggest cities yeah, outside yeah, of yeah, London. Yeah. So when men are tearing, if you've got everything, like a full package, and you're cutting through from out of one of those areas, you got your whole city in the back. Even if, like, man don't like you in the yeah, city, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, still yeah. going to rate, like, yo, mm, yo if my mistake. man gets through, then more man can get through like that. But, fam, I'm just... Uh, when I tell you I'm gassed about the scene outside of London, I, like, if you go through my Spotify, I listen to probably as many, to as many, many in Birmingham artists. You stand that artist in Birmingham right now? So many, bro. Like, oh, so yeah. many. Bro, like, I listen to millions... Big up, really. You know, I'm a fan of of of, of his wave. Tallers, Scorps. The drink for Tallers. Yeah, the man. Tallers. Like, mm. Bowser Boss. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, Stardom. Mm-hmm. Loads of artists. RK. Okay. Mowgli, yeah, yeah, Smugsy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Love a sit for Smogsy as well, dog. Yeah, sit for Smogsy. most definitely, man. You get me, you know it goes, you know it goes. Um, yeah. A couple more for you to look out for, any? I tell you, these guys, Skiz. Skiz. Sarge. Sarge. What's the next one? Ricks. Ricksler. What's the next one? Togs hey, as well. Togs. You're, you're moving too fast, man. Yeah, man, them man there, bro. Uh, 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 what, what are the names? Togs. Togs. You know, I don't want to spell yeah, it. No, we're we're going to do that. We're gonna, I'm going to plug yeah, you in after. Plug you yeah, in. Yeah, plug, plug me in. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. again... I'm going to put them in after. Put them in after. Yeah, because, again, that's what I'm trying to do. Like, even with the radio show, I've been telling them, like, yo, we need to go to these cities and do pop-up shops and road mm, shows. Like, mm, proper mm, mm, mm. go to every city. We've we done something like that in Bradford not too long ago. But I feel like we could have done it on a bigger scale. You get what I'm saying? So, mm. I'm, I'm... You know me, bro. Like... The more new talent I find, the more I got to work with. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So mm. my ears are always open. So what you got coming for yourself in the future then? More albums, more yeah. work, I'm, work. Bro, I'm 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 fam, I'm a beast right now, you know. Mm. No, nah, chop like bro, <laughs> listen to me. When I tell you right now, man, I'm a beast. You see right me I just stopped watching what anyone else was doing and fam, 
I, I, I feel like I'm just in my own world right now. Like, bro, I've learned to just block out all the negativity. I'm rolling with a whole leap of positivity this year. Like, I swear, I swear down, bro. Like, nothing can stop man from what we're about to do. Because at the end of the day, yeah, I need people to respect just the DJ. You understand? Mm. And and even though there's there's times where men are not needing to go on radio stations and do freestyles mm. to help mm. to help mm. their thing. Like people don't even need the DJ call sign. But the things that we have to do behind the scenes to fight you kinda changed for it, artists. It's mad. Like there's been times where they've told man I can't play a certain artist on the radio and I'm arguing to say why we should. Mm. You get what I'm saying? In places where I could lose my job tomorrow mm. just for even talking up like that. Mm. But that's how much, man. How about that bit then? I, I, now you got a, a, a serious <coughs> job like that. Yeah. You start changing. Not to say you moved any type of way. Yeah, through, but, but... You know what I mean? Yeah, you yeah. Have to be watchy, 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 yeah, watchy. Yeah, very. But, no, bro, do you know what? Again, I'm comfortable with my skin, bro. Mm. Like, I respect the fact that I got a job, mm, mm. but I also got a job to the people. Mm-hmm. That got me here. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? True. So me, I have to stand by what I want, what I believe in. So if they tell me, yo, um, could you not go that way, then I couldn't be able to do the show because without me representing for whatever the sound it is that I want to push, not even just drill. Mm. It can be ch- like trap, wave, afro swing, whatever. Mm-hmm. Like any tune that I want to play, I should be able to play it. You get what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, that's what I stood by. And I think that's why people lock in. Like, bro, mm-hmm. I get messages everywhere, fam. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> man, like, man are, like, people are telling me, like, yo, when I was on, on holiday, mm. you got me through it. Yeah, it's true. It's like, true. that's mad to it's me. True. Like, it's true. bro, f- think about it. Like, where man's head's at. Mm. But to still wait to Friday, switch on the radio and, and that, it's crazy. That like, people from Toronto and... All these mad, like, mad locations hitting me up saying, like, yeah, like, that new rapper that you played, what's that song? Like, mm, yeah. That's what you like, them ones. And like, yeah, a man's yeah, yeah, from yeah, Sweden. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> like, that's what I'm trying to shit. Like, that's what I'm trying to do right now, bro. Like, I'll be honest with you, man's a beast. I'm going for everything. Like, and I'm I'm going to just keep on trying to open doors as much as possible. And I'm not going to get it right. Like, anyone watching this, I'm telling you, I'm not going to get it right. Man, is not perfect. Mm. But rate the fact that I do care. You get what I'm saying? I know the thing. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm. So, yeah, man, big, more things are coming, bro. Mm. Like, more things are coming right now, man. I just, like... I just have to hold the vibes right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't know the settings, yeah. <laughs> so, all right, then you think I missed anything, my G? I think we're just reasoning well still. Yeah, I think we're reasoning, man. I think we're good. Like, at the end of the day, bro, I'm here, man. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I don't know if, if there's anything that man wanted yeah, man, to know or whatever. I think, I think we touched on, yeah. you know what I mean? I think it was calm, nice yeah, vibes. Man. Course, bro. Yeah, you know the settings, the whole of vibes, yeah. drink a juice. Drink a juice. Hey, big up sip shack. Sip shack, innit? And don't talk nothing too loose, innit? Yeah. Love all my sponsors and that. Crazy. Big respect and enough respect and Aye, appreciation bro. for Kenny Oster. Voice bro, of the streets. I told you, man, I'm fucking with you. Like, every time me, I you come. Get me? Uh, let me tell you Every something. time, bro, you know the hospitality. I, I got the Aye. man them. Come to. On Boom. a different level, though, I swear, I love Brom, you know. I'm not going to lie, fam. Every time man come Brom, it's like it's pattern, man. Yeah. Like, it's like well, it's like one of my second Same homes, man. man. So you get me, Much now, man. After hold the vibes, now, yeah, man. You you don't know, know, cause yeah. Hey.